Why, hello everybody, it's Joyce Alina and we are back here on the Just Vanilla server and I mean we are back. Oh my goodness, it has been quite the past few weeks. Um, it is now like mid-October and I think the last time that I got to play for any period of time was in mid-September. Uh, so it's been like a month since I've been on, I would say. Three weeks at least. So um, we got a lot going on, so it's about two weeks before Halloween. So I think we are going to work on um, an update to the Halloween house I did last season. So last season, I actually even did it on my um, on my uh, creative world. So it didn't even get into my actual uh, base. But this year I want to build something that I can at least set up initially for the holiday for Halloween and then we can update that later on uh, to be something a little less spooky and a little bit uh, just nicer but I think that's what I'm gonna work on today but I just so I got my stuff got some wood got some cobwebs got some brick um, those are gonna be the main units but I'm sure I'm gonna have to be doing a lot more collecting uh, before doing anything else uh, but now he's thinking watch the sun's gonna go down here soon I bet how close are we to sundown Oh no, it's the middle of the day. Great. So I think I'm going to build it over in this direction. Uh, through here. Got it. Lefty, we need a fence here so no one falls and breaks their na breaks their legs or their necks. I, I think I was trying to say both words at once. Um, anyway, so this is where, I think through here, is where I want to build the house. Probably right right in this area is what I am thinking um, of building. So I will get kind of started on the foundation and work on that. Um, and then, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to um, getting back into things. I apologize for such a long break, uh, but I had some traveling that I was doing and I got lost in what I call the Ancestry.com a black hole. I got sucked in. Um, boy, I found a lot of interesting things. Don't get onto Ancestry.com unless you are ready for all heck to break loose. Let me tell you, it can be quite an adventure. Um, anyway, maybe someday I'll tell you all about that. It's kind of like family secrets, so I'm not sure how much I'm willing to tell you. But in the meantime, now I'm going to get started on building um, what I hope to have as the base or at least the foundation of my uh, spooky house. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, so I was reviewing a little bit of the area around here and oh, by the way, Lefty, I'm a strong independent woman. I was able to put a ball up all by my little lonesome. <laughs> uh, so I was kind of looking in this area and what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to spawn the four horses of the apocalypse? No, no. Oh, why hello. Are you just a free range skelly horse? You are. Oh, we must have just, well, clearly, Lefty must have uh, killed your owners. And welcome. We'll let you just walk around. Okay, so I came over here and just kind of wanted to eyeball. I cleared out a few of the trees, trying to get an idea of the size of what we need to do. And again, I think I mentioned this before, I want to make sure I don't go too small. So when in the house that I built in my creative world last year, I did it where the uh, small narrow part that comes up uh, was about five blocks wide. And so I think I'm going to go a little bit wide. Uh, larger with that probably seven so i don't want it too big because otherwise it's going to just um engulf this area uh but i want to go a little bit larger than i did um in my creative world so um i got some dirt because the other thing i want to do is kind of build up this area so that it's probably two or three blocks up um kind of where it's sitting on a hill. I think it'll look a little bit spookier that way. However, it may mesh into some of this back area here, um, this level up here. So not quite sure how that will work out, but we're hoping to uh, see it so that at least when you're in this area, um, you're looking up. I had kind of initially, well, not initially, secondarily looked over in this direction and thought, well, maybe I could put it there, but you know what I'm gonna say? it's not big enough. There's, there's an issue with scale here um, where this area 
uh, would not be large enough for what it is I want to build over here. Um, maybe back here, but then it's too far away from the base. It's not going to get the effect that I want. So I think really this is the space that I want and I just need to go in and build up the mound. So I got me some dirt. Hopefully that will be enough. If not, um, we'll go get some down in the mines, uh, in the mine area. And I will bring you back once I've gotten a good foundation in. That's what I said last time, wasn't it? I was going to build the foundation and bring you in. And then I decided to do some chit chatting about just having cleared out the area. So there you go. Be back in a sec. Oh, we have the nice sunset falling down. Uh, this is the general outline of the house that I'm building here, our spooky house. Uh, you can see a lot of terraforming went into building this up. Um, I even cut out some of the area through here. Some of it was podzol, and so um, I left little sporadic pieces of podzol through here. I didn't want to use podzol up in this area, um, but I might intersperse it because uh, you may not be able to see from here, but through some of the foresty areas here. Uh, Le uh, Lefty has actually put in some of the podzol as well, uh, just to have it kind of peeking out. So I might do that, um, but as more of a decoration. So I haven't implemented it in any of this right away uh, as far as the landscaping, because that's like last on the list. Anyway, so this is our framework. So it's seven across for the, um, for the front uh, porch area. Uh, nine blocks on one side, 13 on the other. So um, a little bit bigger than the last one I built, not gigantic um, because I don't want it to be overwhelming this area, but it is a little bit bigger than what I did previously. So it won't look so dollhouse-ish, I guess if that's a word. So uh, too much like a dollhouse in something, it'll be a little bit bigger than the player. So this goes back to, here, let me pop in. This goes back to, oh, look, it's a new moon. Uh, so last season, one of my takeaways after a first year of really focusing on building and um, building for YouTube, which so that was new for me, um, what I learned, my biggest lesson learned was uh, to look at scale. And I like to build things that are generally the right proportion for the player. Oh my gosh, I hear that. Yikes. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Where are they at? Do you hear them? Incoming. Come on. Come at me. Yep, 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 yep. Do a little burning. Wow, that scared me. These guys are not fun. I guess once you get used to it, um, that's okay. Okay, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, you got me that time. Um, so but I'm still not quite used to them and the way to kill them and that they'll be showing up every now and then. Oh, oh, oh. Drats, missed ya. Uh, yeah, so killing me some phantoms. Come on, come down here. A little bit of burning. Aha, there you go. Oh, I got a couple of swats in them for you. Yeah, are you gonna die? Come on, oh yes, a little bit of membrane for my brain. Uh, another one out. So there's just the one left. These guys, like I said, they freak me out. I didn't realize that I had been up and building so much. You know, I kind of was thinking, oh, I should go to bed soon because the phantoms will be out. And I was right. I was right. Come on. You're the last one. Okay. Got a little bit of membrane. Oh. Oh. Did you hear some activity? Yes. Monsters. Monsters come out at night, don't they? Come here. I'll get both of you. One there. One there. Hey. Hey, you're not supposed to hit me back. That's not fair. Okay. Are we done now? Can I get back to recording? Uh, oh, more membrane. I don't know what you're supposed to do with membranes. But anyway. So this is my area and I guess, well, I can show you. So coming up, it'll be a nice size for the player uh, in comparison. That's what I was talking about, wasn't it? Uh, proportion. So it'll be a little bit bigger. Uh, but not being too gigantic. So that's one of the things about my builds is they don't tend to be ginormous. Um, but I want it to be a little bit bigger than what I did before. Uh, partly the reason I don't build too big is because I don't have the time to finish anything if I already do something truly massive. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get through some of this uh, before Halloween. That's the goal, before Halloween. So 
um, I will go ahead and start filling in the first floor walls and I will be back to you in a bit. Okay, so as I was building, Lefty stopped by and ooh, he changed everything to green. Isn't that so sweet? I really like it. Fabulous. It's perfect. Oh, boat storage. Thank goodness I did not have a boat on me. Okie dokie, let's go. Oh, I could just ride with him. Duh. So we are heading off to his um, base to see how things have gone uh, with the, whatchamacallit, the uh, stronghold. So we're going to be checking out his stronghold and I will bring you back once we get there. Okay, we are coming through. Am I? Am I coming through? There we are. And off we go. So he has claimed this. Uh, claim this. No entry without explicit permission. I have permission. I have permission, folks. Ooh. Ooh, I like the skylights. Very cool. Nicely done. I do like that a lot. Uh, and I like the iron in there. This is the fountain room. Lovely. Wow, he's done a lot of transforming this. Uh, every hallway has been transformed, it looks like. I hope he knows where he's going. I have no idea where he's going. Um, oh, he's gotten the, the library. Nice. I'm going to sit and read a book. Thanks. I'm going to read a book here. Grand Library. Beautiful. Beautiful. And come on up. And now what are we reading for the book club, Lefty? Very pretty. And see, I love all the skylights into the water. It's perfect. That's perfect. Looks great. I should have turned chat off. My apologies. Well, now you're going to hear all about what the different folks are doing on this server. It's actually kind of busy tonight. We've got a few people. Uh, it's not as full as it normally is, but everybody's pretty active and having fun and chatting it up. Another fountain room. Oh, a chest room with one chest in the center on a pedestal. Oh. Ender chest. Okay, now are we going up or down? I would get so lost. You need like directional signs. Otherwise, how would anyone know where to go? I guess, uh, no, just a regular chest. I'm giving you an idea. If you're going to put it on a pedestal, perhaps it should be something like cool. Like an ender chest. Just my thoughts. It's your place. You can do whatever you want and you do it very nicely. By the way, you do a great job. There's a room in some that generate with a single chest sitting in the center of the room on a pedestal. Oh, so you are emulating uh, what is already there. I get, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, and I remember those stairs. So this work, work is still left to be done here. I'm trying to find you. Where'd you go? Speaking of under chests, I see you. Yeah, this is the bottom of the dungeon, I am assuming. Where'd you go? Up here. I mean, you, it's a maze. Got to make sure I'm following him quickly. Aha. And then this way. See, even he's getting lost. And then we're all the way back up here. But this is a new place back up here. Oh, and there is Vixen. Vivacious Vixen, by the way. I would assume. I saw a name. She said she was going to stop by. Are you lost? Are you lost? We're in the fountain room. This away. This away. And this away is not the way you want to go. <laughs> uh, you did get lost. I kind of thought so. It's like, okay, I found the fountain room. Which way do I go? No, that way it would be to your nether tunnel. I mean, nether portal. There we go. Uh, that was, Oh, that was the way to the nether portal. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Ah, prison. Where are the prisoners? I thought you had prisoners before. Vixen got busted. I sentence you to five minutes in the prison. And she really can't get out. Uh, 
<laughs> Jailbreak. Okay, off we go. Uh, what about your waterway into, well, your pathway into the water? I want to keep the stronghold field, but make it nicer. Uh, definitely. I think you've done that here. <clears throat> so how do I get out into the water? That's, that's what I'll ask him. Oh, right here. Is this your way out to the ocean? Yeah, that's the grand library. The regular library isn't done yet. Wah! Swimming, see? It looks so grand. Oh, I can see. I like how he's done the glass on top here. That looks really nice. And been able to uh, keep the water from dripping into his area. So that has been probably really helpful for him. Uh, I put four conduits around it. No more drowning. Excellent. Oh, very nice. I like it a lot. Can you eat underwater? So yeah, conduits are really great. A great uh, addition. If you can get them. Oh, how am I going to get out again? Watch me get stuck for sure. It's massive. It's a really a massive place. Oh, I didn't realize how far down it went. <gasps> this is really cool. Oh, you have to do something under here, Lefty. This is fantastic. Seeing underneath it. Now, did you mine this out? I'm thinking you may have, because I don't recall this from our previous excursion. But then again, um, we didn't do everything. Wow, this is really neat. I'm going to get lost and not be able to find my way back. So I asked him, did you mine out underneath it? There's a great ocean ravine. Oh, this definitely has to get decorated. Okay, I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's got a ton of coral to put in. Yeah, this will look really neat with coral and all the different lighting. He can add some different um, texture to the surface. A lot of work, but it could turn out really, really great. It only takes time. That's all it takes to do good building. It takes a fair amount of time, which is why I've not been doing much good building because I just haven't had the time. Yeah, this is lovely. This would be a great place to live. I hope Frilly off is taking notes. I haven't seen in, I haven't seen him uh, do much swimming outside his area, but um, as far as decorating, he's done a lot of work on his though. If you've been watching his series, if you haven't, what are you doing? You need to be watching his series. Uh, and I will link to it. Hopefully, if I remember, I will link to it in the description. And this is back to the fountain room. Okay, I'm going to break for here and I will be back on the house. Okay, so I've gone through and tried to figure out how tall I needed to make this, um, as compared to how wide so before I had a, like I said I had a smaller version uh, in what I built last year so now I'm trying to work out the proportion so I think I have the right proportion for my first floor it is um, much taller uh, than I did last time so it's probably about two three blocks higher maybe something like that so 
I just wanted to do the framing because I still have to figure out where I'm going to put the windows and such like that. But I want to get the overall framing of the building done uh, before I start with the details. So I will come back to you once I've get uh, once I have gotten the second story up, and you'll see because one of the things that I'm going to do is have it come in just a little bit. So the top story is probably going to be one or two blocks in. Uh, compared to the first story so uh, you will see that in just a second okay so I've gone ahead and put the second story on and then the third story of the kind of the bell tower or whatever kind of tower you want to call that that will be in the front um, and you can see I had mentioned it but this gives the visual that uh, for the uh, second story it's indented by one so it's one block on each side smaller than the base and that's actually something different than if you look up most of the spooky houses that are built especially in Minecraft they're all the first and second story of the body are usually the same size and then they just use um, the uh, detail so it's basically detail molding rather than uh, the um, roofing that I have here uh, as the determiner kind of splitting up the middle uh, sometimes and then sometimes they don't so I think that's one of the things that I wanted to do wanted to do differently on my build was to uh, make that first story or second story smaller and just give a little bit more um, kind of detail it actually makes it a tiny bit more modern that's something you would see in more modern builds uh, but we'll go ahead and try to do all of the other items um, that are pretty standard the way that the the roof is done the roofing detail will probably have a some type of uh, porch out on the front of it maybe um, so but I wanted to show you this is going to be the overall size and composition of the um, of the build. And so kind of excited about it. So we'll be getting now started on I think I, I want to do the uh, roofing to kind of get that finalized and what that's going to be like. I'm trying to figure out how um, whether or not this is large enough to add some of the detail. So in this level of architecture, it's, a, it's more of a Victorian build. You have um, a lot of detail around the moldings and around the um, edges that is gonna be more like um, there's a dentil kind of molding that kind of looks like teeth. That's why it's called dentil. Um, and then, or corbels. So I might just be able to add some corbels along uh, the bottom underneath the uh, lining of the, the roof. Uh, to give it some of that detail and then we'll uh, definitely look at the top and how we can best decorate the roof because there's some de detail that we'll be doing up on the top area as well so I will get started on that you know I was very prescient when it came to this was going to take me a long time um, it again because getting on the server having the time to build has been really difficult for the for me these past couple of months it's been a week since I did that uh, first recording so uh, yeah now Halloween's one week away. I'm hoping to get this done by then because I just want to be able to have this up and loaded and to you at least as a Halloween treat. So I will get my butt working again. Okay, so I have gone through and I've done all the different levels and then I started on the roof and I started on the roof line from the top down, actually not the roof, uh, the kind of the trim that will go against the roof because I needed to kind of measure how big it was uh, to make sure that my distance for the second story and then the third story bell tower was enough. So um, that worked out fine and I'm really pleased with how it, it looks. Um, I have seen this version of the kind of the molding online. So so I was able to emulate that, which I really like how it turned out. You can see it peeks through and you can see a little bit of the um, stone brick behind it. Uh, so what it is, is here, let me turn on so you can see my crossbars. Uh, so it is an upside down staircase with a staircase on top and then another upside down staircase. Uh, there are half slabs at the bottom of the uh, the the staircase that's the normal way and then there's half slabs that are right against at the very top of the upside down staircase on top then above that you can see peeking out I'm gonna have solid wood and I'm actually gonna have another level of that that's the actual roof line uh, but I needed to know exactly where the roof line was and then how big this was uh, and then half slabs are on that top uh, on that bottom portion so the bottom half of the roof line slab and so that's nice it's going all the way around uh, one of the things is because I have decided to bring it in by um, a block on each side these ended up being even numbers and not odd numbers so that you can see in the center when the width of the wall is odd uh, that the that the um, 
the dentil right here on this side and the corner they kind of match up and then you have this uh, little space in there you can't see it from this angle um, but where they kind of jut up against each other and, it, and uh, makes that corner uh, whereas on this side because it's now an even number of blocks this way uh, i wasn't able to achieve that at the corner so i ended up just filling that in i might do something like having a um, let me see fencing come down and make some type of little detail that way uh, but that's pretty much it here let me get down uh, I am also, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. The other thing is, so for the actual, um, for the actual roofing uh, material, I'm using dark oak planks, but for, I, I did this initially and the dark oak planks, when this was all dark oak and then the roof was dark oak, you couldn't really see the difference. So I've done this in spruce and I don't have enough spruce. So here I am planting spruces around uh, to cut down. Uh, but that's what's going to give it some of that um, contrast is to have the spruce here and then the dark oak uh, as the actual roofing material behind it. Uh, the last thing that I need to do before starting on the roof line is trying to figure out the porch that I want here. So whether or not I want just a porch around this area or if I want the porch to go all the way across, which I might do that. Uh, that's very much a... Um, typical thing that you see is a porch coming out and all the way across, uh, but I need to figure out how I'm going to build that. Um, and so that's what I'm working on next. And that might take me a bit. So I will bring you back when that piece is done. Okay. Well, I finished up what I thought would be the porch and then, um, kind of lined this out along the detail between the first and second floor. Um, and I like how that turned out. I'm trying to think I might pull this out one more. Uh, just along that line or maybe down one uh, but just added some um, some po supports uh, one of the things i did notice is because of the size of this porch my terraforming is going to have to be redone so that i'm terraforming even farther out in front of the house but you know i'm i one of the things i went through and i, I tried to do the roof line up here here let me climb up a little higher so we can get a good look at this um and one of the things i was working on oh, a little bit higher was how many levels of this I was gonna do. So this is two levels. I think it might look better with three, but you can see what's gonna be the problem. The problem is my tower then is not tall enough. It probably needs to be up about three more blocks. So if I add two more to this level, um, I'm gonna want this uh, this bottom of this corbels uh, to be higher than the top of the roof. And so in order for that to happen, yeah, this whole section needs to be up probably about three more blocks. What a pain just getting the uh, just getting the roof line done. And this is just the front. I haven't even done all the way around. Um, but I did want to bring you in and show you that. That's what I'm going to be working on. I, I do like the the differentiation between the um, the different types of woods. You really can't tell that much. You just know that it's different, um, at least in this lighting. Uh, nighttime lighting. It's uh, just right. It's just the amount of, right amount of contrast where it's not too different, uh, they're, but they're very similar. So I like these two woods together. Again, that's the spruce and the dark oak. And so, okay, so I'm going to work on building the tower up higher, finishing off um, my roof on this one um, all the way around, and again, the border around here all the way around, and maybe get to my terraforming, and then I will bring you back. Well, there you have it. The house is completed as far as the normal decorations. So it looks like a nice, um, happy, healthy home. Uh, so from this point, well, first let me go back to what I've done. So I went through and I added my windows. One of the things I did is I added this uh, dormer here off to the left. Um, I had that in the mini or the smaller size of this that I did last year. I did a dormer along the side and um, I really liked the way that, that it added a little bit of detail. So I went ahead and added that there. Uh, you'll see that my roof is completely finished off. Um, I kept it at the, at the two levels instead of the three because it was just too much and I don't think it was the right proportions um, for the size of the build. If the build was larger that might have been okay but for this size, I think uh, just going two up was fine. Um, I went ahead and I used cauldrons and um, and iron bars for the top detail. And uh, you'll see that along the roof edge. So uh, 
a cauldron every other space and then a an iron bar on top and between each cauldron so that was what i did for detail uh, that you'll see that we have the um the windows have the um, shutters that are done in the dark oak trap doors and so that was some of the detail that i did so all that's really left for me to do well there's a couple of things one the interior is completely not done uh, apart from me putting some flooring in uh, so i don't have any lighting so you still see some of the torches that i'm trying to do just so that things don't blow up on me because i really don't like that part um and then we need to spookify it uh so along with some doing some of the landscaping um, so I'm going to work on that a bit and then I will come back hopefully by the time I get done with all of that I will have a nice completed look for you uh, but this is this is probably what it's going to look like afterwards so after Halloween I will unspookify it and this is going to be a nice house that we can um, build and put our stuff in so anyway I will be back in a second so there you have it the house is all done. It's been spookified. Um, and so, yeah, we added the cobwebs, broke down some things, put in some uh, lots of different blocks. So I put in stairways so that uh, uh, that you can see like holes in the um, in the bricks. We put in some cobblestone, some uh, cracked bricks as well. Uh, a little bit of the mossy brook um, down in the corners near where the water is, um, or near where it's touching the grass, um, added in the pathway, some, a little bit of landscaping, put in some light poles and yeah, we are ready for Halloween. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that, um, you liked how things turned out. Let me know, uh, feedback that you have. I know I still have some of the torches up on the roof, don't I? It's just too much for me to get everything perfect, isn't it? Isn't it? Anyway, I hope you liked how this turned out. I'm really, really pleased. And maybe it gave you a little bit of inspiration. But with that, happy Halloween. And I will see you next time. <laughs>